Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, told his global workforce of 137,000 employees that they'd have to return to the office beginning early September. It's expected that employees will spend about three days a week at the office and the other two at home or remotely. Not everyone was happy with this decision. In an open letter to Cook, about 80 employees of Apple, according to The Verge, voiced their displeasure in being told to return to work, stating, we feel like the current policy is not sufficient in addressing many of our needs. The letter pointed out that workers delivered the same quality of products and services that Apple is known for, all while working almost completely remotely. The future of work will see battles between companies and their employees. CEOs may contend that it is easier to manage people if they're all herded into one or several central locations. Employees have a different agenda. They want to have a work-life balance. A two-hour, round-trip commute becomes debilitating over time. After spending quality time with loved ones, being responsible for where and when they work, it's hard to comprehend losing this autonomy. There was concern for losing talent due to the requirement of going back to an office. Apple's remote, location flexible work policy, and the communication around it, have already forced some of our colleagues to quit. It forces people to choose between either a combination of our families, our well-being and being empowered to do our best work, or being a part of Apple. The employees who don't want to return to an office setting are part of a larger dissenting movement. According to a recent survey by Morning Consult, on behalf of Bloomberg News, nearly 40% of respondents said they'd consider quitting their jobs if they weren't offered remote work flexibility. Over the last year, we often felt not just unheard, but at times actively ignored. Messages like, we know many of you are eager to reconnect in person with your colleagues back in the office, with no messaging acknowledging that there are directly contradictory feelings amongst us feels dismissive and invalidating, the letter said. There have been a few high-profile instances of CEOs being a little too heavy-handed in their approach. WeWork CEO Sandeep Mathrani's attempt to rally a return to the office campaign came across as cringy and tone deaf. Mathrani intimated that the best, brightest and most motivated people will go back to the office. Losers, however, will stay at home. Those who are uberly engaged with the company want to go to the office two-thirds of the time, at least. Those who are least engaged are very comfortable working from home, he said at the Wall Street Journal's Future of Everything Festival. Mathrani added, people are happier when they come to work. The bigger issue is do you come to work five days a week or do you come to work three days a week? That's the bigger issue. There's no issue of not coming to a common place.